okay so welcome back so now let's create our cart component and work on that so i simply go to my components folder create here new folder that is called cart okay and the cart i will create new file that is called the cart.js so r a c f e to create my basic markup and then let's first of all bring in here the fragment okay and let's also bring in here the link so import link from react router dom and then we also have to bring in the use dispatch so i simply go here and let's bring in bring in the this one so control c put in here and then metadata use alert uh, also i have to bring in the this one also try to copy all this so control c put that right here and use this pad use selector so add to card item and from the card actions and then first of all let's use here const dispatch equals to use dispatch and then i have to bring in the card items so const the card items equals to use selector in the state dot card i will get the items in the state and then i will simply uh, have to actually copy my markup i simply put in here the fragment uh, if card items dot length is equal to zero this means that there are no products in the card so i will simply put in here the h2 and i type here your card is empty and let's give it a class name of margin top of five oops okay else if that if the card item is greater than zero then i simply put in here the fragment okay and let's put in here the metadata uh, so metadata title is going to be your cart right so else i have go back to my notepad to copy the markup this is a cart.html so i simply copy this h2 and this one so control c go back and put that right here simply save it okay so it says that we have to close here the hr this is closed um, oh, we also have to close this one and that's it simply save it and now i'll simply first of all put here your card and the length is going to be the card items dot length so how many items we have in the card okay and then i will simply have to also loop through the card and display all the items so after this column 8 and let's move this hr let's put it here the loop so card items dot map and I map to each item and I will display here the card item so I put in here the fragment okay and let's put in here the HR and the card item so I simply select from here 
cut this one put that here control v save it and now let's replace the data so row first of all the image that is going to be item dot image that will contain the url of the image and then we have here the let's put in here the link link that will go to that will go to slash product and slash the item dot product okay so this uh, the name of the product is clickable so i have to add, add the link of that product so that is going to be item dot name and then the price so that is going to be item dot dot price we will handle this quantity selected in my next video so let's simply save it i simply go to my app.js and let's bring in the card so i will actually put the card right here so import card from profess components slash the card and slash the card and Let's simply copy this one. This is not protected route, so I'm gonna see it. That is slash cart and the cart. Alright. Simply save it and let's go back and check it out. And if I reload it, and you can see that we click on it, and here we go. You can see here so two items. This is the cable boom, this is the headphone, and this is the price this is the price we will handle this quantity in my i will handle this quantity in my next video but right now i have successfully displayed here my items and also i have to display here the length of the items all right so if i simply go back in my header or js so that is in layout header or js oh sorry i simply go to the top and here i bring cons cart items equals to you select from state dot cart and then let's put in here the at cart items dot length so cart items dot length simply save it and that's it so it was already two so now it will work right so now in my next video i will handle the quantity select first of all this one also on this page okay i have to display the previous quantity that user has selected on its page now he can also update its quantity here okay so i will handle the quantity on my cart component in my next video